So what I'm looking to do here today is to make a thermometer that's going to go out inside my garage so I can find out what the temperature is out there without having to go out and read it off the wall. I can just do it from inside the house or any place that uh, my network reaches. So my network does reach inside the garage. So I've got a Wemos board here. Uh, it's a D1 Mini. It's an ESP8266 based processor. And it's brand new, so I'm just going to test it. And the simple way to test it, of course, like like most everybody does, is throw a the blink sketch onto it and just make sure it talks to it and all that other stuff. So I've got the blink sketch up here uh, in my Ar Arduino IDE 2.3.4. I'm running uh, Linux on this box. It's Linux Mint, and I'm going to upload this program to it. This little sketch, and just we'll just make sure that the LED blinks and the usual things and just give it a test before I uh, go and hook it up otherwise so we can see it's we can see it's loading there we can see the flashing on the communications LED and now it's gonna blink the LED if, assuming it works which it looks like it does it's gonna blink the LED off and on one time per second there was one other thing I'd like to show you with this because this is, this is a, a ESP8266 based board and uh, not your typical like Uno. Um, so it does something a little different here. In this, in the sketcher where it says turn the LED on high and turn the LED off, uh, which low is built in low, this operates opposite to that. So I'm gonna go and change the sketch here just to prove that to you. And I'm gonna go where this says it's gonna be off for a thousand milliseconds. We're gonna take and uh, change that a little bit and we're going to make that say one hundredth of a second. I'll upload that sketch and then so it should be going off for a tenth of a second but after it uploads this you'll see that it operates the opposite. So whenever you're running any of these little boards like this don't assume that they all operate the same that each pin does everything exactly the same as the other boards that you may have been using and we can see here that the actual on time is very short which corresponds to this LED low. So be careful with these boards. Sometimes they're the opposite, just so you know. So Tasmoto is relatively easy to set up, but I thought first we might uh, take and hook up our board here to the uh, DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, there's only three connections to do. I'm gonna go out of the 3.3 volt connection on here. So I'm gonna hook that up to red. We're going to use that to power the uh, DHT sensor. Uh, black is for ground and it's the second one down from the this end here. Uh, G for ground and right next to it is a D4 so that's going to be our input and we're going to hook the brown wire up to that in this particular case. So over here we can see that we've got plus, out and minus. So plus being the 3.3 volts Sometimes it's just real hard to get these little guys on there. Uh, ground be in the negative right there. And then the output from the board itself is in the middle. And we'll put that on. Again, very stiff to get on. But there you go. And we'll hook this back up to the computer and go over to the Tasmoda site and uh, get it to upload the firmware for us. Okay, so now we're going to load some Tasmoto firmware onto our little D1 mini board. And uh, I found the easiest way to do this using the Mint Linux Mint box that I have here is to um, use Chrome. I uh, attempted to use it with Firefox and uh, you'll get an error message under Tasmoto under Firefox on, on Linux Mint here. It says does not that Firefox does not support web serial. So I'm just using Chrome for this. It's just easy without having to juggle other things. And uh, it's, it's, it's not that difficult to download Chrome and install it on here. And I'm, I'm just going to use it for this pretty much. I use Firefox generally other, all, the, all the other times. So I'll go into Google and click in using Tasmoda. And then we using Tasmoda. And then it should come up with getting started. We'll click on getting started here. And uh, it'll bring us to the Tasmoda page and it'll say getting started of all things. 
And then what we want to look at here is I've um, well first of all I've got my uh, D1 mini board of course plugged in and um, we want to go and use the web installer because it's just simple. I'm just the reason I'm using this is I'm, a Tasmoda and this procedure is to keep it simple. I just want to know the temperature out in my shop and that's basically it. I don't need anything fancy. So uh, it'll say I'll give you some instructions here. Uh, we're going to leave it in English as we can see right here and then we're going to connect and this should connect us to the uh, board now yours will probably if you're using windows or something you'll see it come up in uh, com1 com2 or whatever it is now my device is on tty usb 0 this being linux and we'll go and we'll connect give it a few seconds and i want to install tasmoda and that's basically it i'll click on that uh, are you sure you want to do that? Because of course it erases everything else that's on there and just Tasmoda is left. And then we click on next. Do you want to install it? Yes, we do. <clears throat> this takes a few seconds. And while it's, uh, well, 30 seconds or 40, whatever, um, while we're doing that, I'm going to talk about why we're using Tasmoda here a little bit more. And for one thing, Tasmoda is open source software. Uh, you're not beholden to anybody else. It's free. Um, it does a surprising amount of things. It's been around for a number of years now. And you're not tied to anybody else's cloud server. If you go and buy one of those uh, automated sort of, uh, smart switches or whatever, smart plugs or smart light bulbs that you can get from some of the big box uh, hardware stores and that as an example, uh, you're you're going to have to give them a bunch of your information and it's going to go through some cloud server someplace in the world and uh, you're tied to them. So uh, here we are, installation is complete. I'm going to click on next. Um, and then we are going to go and change the Wi-Fi. And we'll have we'll see uh, what's available in the area and I want this particular one down here and I'll click in the stick in the password and connect and we'll hopefully uh, we might be a little bit weak in this room but nonetheless there it goes it, it grabbed it and what else do we want to do? I want to visit the device itself and we'll see what it tells me. So uh, it's, it's already labeled as the shop. I've used this board before for this, but this is just for the demo. And what we want to do here, yours will say generic and Tasmoda up here. So what we want to do next is click on configuration. And the module that's attached to it, which is the DHT11. Now, what you're going to want to do up here in the module type, because of what we're using, that the board and what we're using, we're going to use generic, which is at the very bottom of your list here. You're going to click on generic, and then, as you recall, recall we hooked uh, DHT11 module up to uh, the D4 input here. So you'll see that there's plenty of other devices that you can hook up to these things and you click the DHT11. If you, There's still more room on the board, of course, if you had other modules or other things you wanted to do or run a relay or something like that. Of course, you have these other outlets or other um, spots to use on the board and you can buzzers and um, relays, etc., etc. But uh, for our purposes and my purpose, I'm just going to be measuring the temperature and the humidity. So I'm only hooking the DHT11 up to uh, D4 input. Now then you're going to click Save Next, and it will take a few seconds. And another thing about Tasmoda is you can do all of this once you get this set up. You can do this um, um, over the your your web, little web network, your local network. You can change and configure this board uh, internally on your system quite easily. It gives you a lot of configuration and other options, as you can see. Config here. Uh, Wi-Fi and uh, other things that um, you can do. You can reset the board, restart, etc. So it's very powerful, very flexible. And uh, this is not a guaranteed system. This is, again, free and open source software. It's still in development effectively, but it's been in development for years and years. <clears throat> and it works quite nicely. Uh, another, another cool feature that I use here 
is uh, the console. Uh, I will set up a, a tab in on one of my other computers actually and I'll bring up the console for the, uh, the the board that I'm using and it will happily sit here and every five minutes it, it will put the uh, the time and the temperature and the humidity up what for what's in the, my shop or whatever I'm measuring so I can come back to it the next day and I can see what it uh, say if it got really cold what the temperature went down to overnight so we're going to use a tablet here just to show that uh, we have communications over our local network and uh, we're going to use Chrome to go and take a peek at the uh, Tasmoda um, device. Uh, the, the D1 Mini that I used is now out in the uh, shop and it's been there for a little while so it's definitely cooled off. We'll see what the temperature is out there. Um, so we're going to go up into the search bar or the address bar up here sorry and we're going to type in the address that we saw on our earlier part of the video and it's 10.0.0.98 and we hit go and uh, pretty quickly we see where where we're at here we're at about 5.9 degrees celsius out in the shop there um, anyway so we're working it's it's a uh, it's definitely a good to go uh, 1.2 is um, if you should ever forget what your address is uh, for your device uh, you lost a piece of paper that you wrote it down on or whatever you can always take and hook that device up to your um, Laptop or whatever you programmed it with and you can tap the restart button down here and it will tell you uh, What the address of that uh, board is and uh, you don't have to restart it But it just tells you what that is at least so you can just write it down again So I'm just going to cancel this and we're good to go